Wendy's going to help me talk with you today about what you can do to keep your pet's coat nice and healthy, especially as you're getting through the shedding season. Now before I talk with you about what you can do to help keep your pet's coat healthy, it's a good idea for every pet owner to have a general idea of what's going on with your pet's coat. And your pet's coat is made up of three different kinds of hair. Here are the tactile hairs, the upper coat, and the undercoat. The tactile hairs are the ones that make up the whiskers, the little chin hairs, and the eyelashes. And the upper coat is the coat that's on top, and the undercoat is the coat underneath. Now the undercoat is made up of more hair per follicle than the rest of the coat. So when your pet starts to shed, what you're usually dealing with is the bulk of the undercoat that's being released. Your pet's hair also has four stages of a life cycle that it goes through. There's the growing stage, the transition stage, the resting stage, and then the shedding stage. Now your pet's hair is not going to go through the same stages at the same time. Depending on where your pet's hair is located and how long it is, is going to determine of what stage it's going to go through. For example, the hairs that are on Ivy's nose are very short and the ones on her back are very long. The ones on her back are going to have a longer growing stage than the ones on her nose. So your pet's coat is going to be going through shedding pretty much all year long with the exception of the two times during the year, spring and fall, where your pet's coat is affected by the change of temperature and the length of light exposure. That's pretty much it, just for a general overview of what's going on with your pet's coat. There are three things you can do to keep their coat nice and healthy. It's making sure they have proper food, brushing them out, and giving them a bath. Whenever you feed your pet, your pet needs a high protein diet. You can also incorporate things like B vitamins and omega fatty acids. Those are all going to be really good to help keep your pet's coat nice and healthy. The second basic thing that you can do is brush them. Brushing them is going to remove any dirt and debris, any excess loose hair that's there. Whenever you do brush your pet, whether they're long or short, you always want to make sure you brush in the direction of their hair. Starting from the front and working back. You're going to brush out any debris, any tangles that are there, especially if your dog has long hair like Ivy. You're just going to go nice and gentle. Whenever you're done brushing, you want to make sure you use a comb to go through to make sure everything is nice and smooth. That ensures that you've removed any tangles or dirt and debris that's there. If your dog is especially dirty, you can give them a bath. Whenever you do wash your dog, you want to make sure you use a shampoo that is specifically designed for your pet, not a human shampoo. Human shampoos are designed with our pH in mind, and your pet's pH is very different than ours. So using a human shampoo is going to actually be more harsh on their skin. Now during this time of year, when the shedding is up, there are two products we like to recommend that really make a difference with that undercoat. They're made by the company called the Furminator. Furminator makes a very special shampoo and conditioner that stimulates the hair follicles of the undercoat to help release them so that you lose a lot of that undercoat in the bathtub. The second product that they have is called the Furminating Brush and its comb is very special to go directly to the undercoat without damaging the upper coat and it also doesn't cut the hair. When you use the Furminating Brush, you're going to do the same thing with a regular brush, going in the direction of the coat using smaller strokes so you can get that undercoat. Just continue to brush until you notice you don't have as much hair coming out through the comb and you know you basically got as much of the undercoat as you're going to get. Don't worry, you're not going to get all of it at the same time. Just get what's mostly there that's ready to come out. And that's basically it. All of us here at Arbor Hills Veterinary Center are more than happy to answer any of your questions to help make sure your pet has a healthy coat.